Hey what's up guys in this video we are going to talk about the review of AOSP Android 10 ROM and its quick installation process. As you may already know the Android 10 is now officially as Google's 10th version of Android OS with plenty of new features and system UI changes. Without wasting the time let's jump into its features. So first let's go to setting and scroll down to about phone. As you can see Android version is 10 with current Android security patch level from September. Like previous Android build there is no such name as Nougat, Oreo or Pi. And this time it is completely removed and named just the Android 10. As you figured out I am using my Poco F1 for this review and basically it is an AOSP Android 10 from Potato open source project even though it is a quite similar to pure AOSP ROM without much modification. One of the main highlight from Android 10 was the new gesture navigation which is handy and super smooth. On the settings, system, gestures, they also consider including the previous 3 button navigation and 2 button pie gesture but personally I prefer to use this new gesture navigation. We can even adjust the sensitivity of the gesture to high or low that's up to you. Just pull up to go to home screen, swipe up from the bottom, hold and release to see your open apps and go backwards just by swiping either the right side or left side. With Android 10 digital well-being and parental controls are more smarter to create and maintain healthy digital habits for the whole family. In addition to setting app timers, you can see how you spend your time and set daily limits for individual websites. All within the same digital well-being dashboard. Some of the developer features like accent colors, fonts and icon shapes are pretty cool. To access these settings, first we need to go to about phone and tape build number several times. Now go back to system, advance and choose developer option. Now scroll down to bottom and here you can customize the accent color as per your liking. I like the way as black and white looks. You can even change the headline phone but now there is only one phone available right now. Hope we will see more phones in the future update. The next one is icon shapes where you can customize overall icon displayed throughout the Android 10 interface. You can choose several shapes like square, teardrop, skew circle, rounded rectangle. But I like the way teardrop shaped icon looks. The next one is system wide dark mode. You can enable this settings from the display, dark theme. Even though some of the app is not supported by this feature. So you can now override dark mode from developer option. It will force enable dark mode in all apps even it supports dark mode or not. The developer option is also features with an option to enable or disable sensors of your phone. Once toggle it you will get the sensor tile that can be accessed from your quick settings. It completely disables all sensors like proximity, compass, light, accelerometer once it is on. Here you can see the auto rotate function is not working with sensors disabled. Finally let me show you how to install AOSP Android 10. Installation process is pretty straightforward and simple. I have provided all the links to download this ROM in the description. Once after the download copy the ROM and gapps file into the internal storage of your phone. Switch off and boot your phone into custom recovery like TWRP and first make a complete wipe before installation. Make sure you backup all the files before if anything goes wrong. Select wipe, tape advanced wipe and select everything except storage options like internal storage, USB storage and micro SD card options and swipe to confirm wipe. Next go back to the home screen, select install and choose the downloaded ROM and swipe to confirm to flash. But wait. Do you get any error during the installation? I got one during my first installation so I made the fix that you will get in the description. If you got a different error then let us know in the comment section. Once after that you also need to flash its gapps package and that's it. We are done with its installation process. So simple right? Once the installation is done go back and reboot the phone into system. So that's it. I hope you guys liked that. Hit the like if you found this video helpful and if you guys have any queries or if you have faced any issues while installing this ROM, do let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.